A very warm welcome to the programme. The US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, will be in Jerusalem later today to discuss how to de-escalate tensions between Israelis and Palestinians. On Thursday, nine Palestinians were killed during an Israeli military raid in the West Bank, followed on Friday by the killing of seven Jewish settlers outside a synagogue in occupied East Jerusalem. Israeli forces have now moved in to evict the family of the Palestinian gunman who carried out Friday's attack. Hanada Hashemi is director of the Center for Middle East Studies at the University of Denver in Colorado. Joins me now live on the program. Thank you for being on the program. First of all, uh, give us your reaction to these latest attacks that we've seen that started Thursday. Well, they're entirely predictable. We've seen this pattern before. Uh, the intensity of the violence is a direct result of this new hawkish right-wing Israeli government, which has openly stated that it's seeking to expand Israeli settlement activity and crush Palestinian nationalism to the extent that now even waving a Palestinian flag can get you arrested. So all of this was entirely predictable, and it fits a, a pattern that we've seen going back, you know, really uh, decades a pattern going back decades. But as you say, we've got a new uh, government in position, you know, Prime Minister Netanyahu back in power with, you know, far right allies that enabled him to do so. And they had an emergency meeting Sunday talking about new powers, new new uh, measures to put in place. A family now is going to be evicted. Uh, your thoughts on on what that means going forward with Anthony Blinken arriving today? Well, it means, um, I think, um, an intensification of the conflict because it's going to um, um, send a message to the Palestinians that they have no hope uh, for a state, no political aspirations. There's no meaningful peace process. There is this, um, you know, hawkish Israeli government that's seeking to crush uh, any manifestation of Palestinian um, um, nationalism. And so from a Palestinian perspective, they uh, have their backs against the wall. And many of them are saying we have nothing to lose. So this is sort of, I think, um, uh, an indication that the Palestinians have never been worse off. Um, they don't have any regional backing. You know, all of their Arab allies have struck separate deals with Israel. The United States is strongly supportive of um, Israel's security and safety um, and um, only issues lip service for toward, you know, Palestinian aspirations. So I think we are headed for very dark times and the you know recent escalation of violence is really a sign of things to come. Now, uh, the Secretary of State's visit was scheduled anyway. He's not suddenly booked a trip because of what's been going on since Thursday. What is the best we can hope for in terms of what he might be able to achieve? Well, perhaps um, trying to convince Israel to scale back its repression of the Palestinians. I mean, for example, this uh, attempt to demolish the homes or even expel the family members of Palestinians who've been engaged in acts of violence is just um, preposterous. I mean, it's it's an act of collective punishment. It's most likely a war crime. It's going to inflame, you know, um, uh, Palestinian anger. So perhaps talking Netanyahu back from those positions might in the short term, de-escalate some of the tensions. But of course, the underlying root causes remain the same. Israel has a state. Israel has security. The Palestinians don't have any of those things. And they don't have any, any hope that the Secretary of State of the United States has any interest in starting a meaningful peace process. So these are very dark times. And I think, um, you know, what Blinken is hoping to do is really just engage in crisis management, not conflict resolution. Okay. Nara Hashemi, thank you for your time and expertise from the Center for Middle East Studies in uh, the University of Denver.